What's the weirdest, most disgusting thing you've ever seen at a party? I met this man on three separate occasions, and I literally only ever knew him as the captain. I don't do drugs, but my friends certainly did. We were at a party and my buddy asked some girl where he could find some molly, and she says, you'll have to talk to the captain, and just walks away. We were absolutely fucking mystified as to what that meant. Like an answer to our prayers, the crowd splits for a second and this dude with a comically large pirate hat just appears right in front of us. My friend goes, are you, the captain? Without a word he smiles, and takes off his hat revealing a massive bag of Gatorade Blue Molly that was taped to the inside. Then he hands my buddy a little dime bag, gives a very convincing, yeah, and disappears into the crowd. I laughed so hard I almost puked, and I swear every time I saw this dude it was like he was some mysterious pirate deity that would suddenly appear with the sole purpose of giving people free drugs and then disappear again. Really more awesome than weird, but still my favorite party story to tell. Incredible. A mystical creature who brings joy to all. A rare breed nowadays. Girl was on something and just pulled down her pants and pooped in front of everyone. Party cleared out real fast after that. Party pooper. I was at a house party with one bathroom. All night there was one guy being obnoxious and passing out every few minutes. Laying down for 15 then getting up drinking more, rinse and repeat. Eventually he passed out in the one bathroom which caused outrage as people had to relieve themselves. A hero tried climbing a drain pipe to get into the bathroom window. On his first attempt it he fell about 6 feet and landed on a bin that broke. Three guys at the foot of the drain pipe helped him up and one said, yo fuck that bin. The four of them collectively stamped and kicked the bin like it owed the money until it was in many pieces. I laughed so hard. Just dudes being dudes. More bizarre than weird or disgusting. I was invited to a bachelor party for a guy the first don't know, probably around 1982. Arrived to a backyard party with a decent size in ground pool, hibachi barbecues, a couple kegs tapped. There's a 35 to 40 foot boat on blocks in the yard, outboards are off in in parts on a table nearby. There's probably 100 guys there, mostly college swimmers. I know about half of them. As the night progresses, about 10 guys are on the roof of the house passing around a bottle of scotch, another 50 or so people have arrived, more are on the way. The barbecue guys move the hibachis onto the boat to keep drunks from falling on the grills. It's getting crowded. The drunks decide to put the boat in the pool. Maybe 50 to 60 guys shove this thing into the pool, which sends water everywhere around the pool deck, but also knocks the hibachi grills over into the boat. Seems like an easy fire to put out, but it wasn't. Next thing I know the pool deck is mobbed with drunk college athletes. They're all trying to splash water onto the boat, beer from the keg taps, ice, a plastic tarp, garden hose, and it's just getting worse. The smoke is choking the guys on the roof, so they're trying to get down, it's only about 12 to 15 feet, but they're drunk. Some ground-based drunks try to do the human pyramid thing to get them down. The rain gutter pulls away from the house. Lots of shouting, some of it angry, there's going to be a fight soon, plus there's a boat on fire in a pool. Time to go. I grab the two guys I came to the party with and we bolt. We pass police cars and fire trucks coming the other way. A couple days later there's an article in the local paper with a picture of the groom getting married in the hospital, but no real details about why he fell of a roof and broke his leg two days before his wedding. He could not go to the reception. The honeymoon postponed to a later date. No mention of a party or a fire. From other friends I learned that, other than the groom, there were no serious injuries. Damage was confined to the boat, the pool, and the rain gutter. That was probably a fascinating homeowner insurance claim. There was an old bowl of canned clam chowder someone didn't finish for dinner on the table. Someone poured a generous amount of rum charter, cinnamon-flavored cream liqueur, into it and started calling it, clam charter. One girl was very drunk and hungry, ate it knowing what it was, claimed it was good, then threw up a bit into the bowl. She proceeded to finish the bowl and continued claiming it was tasty. A buddy of mine brought a girl to a party we were having. They were wasted and making out against my car when she turned to throw up all over the hood. He comes over to me to apologize for his date and I told him they should clean it off and he said, 
Oh no I did already, I peed on it to get it off. Dotted line face. What in the trailer park boys? A guy the first knew would take any dare anyone handed him after he was drunk to a certain point. A bong was sitting there so someone tells him to drink the bong water. Bought and this was some disgusting ass bong water that hadn't been changed in so long. IIRC he got a gulp or two down before both spilling the rest on the carpet and puking on himself. The room reeked like vomit and mold, mildew. My college roommate used a beer bong to chug a beer with it inserted into his rectum because it gets you drunker. He then stood and forcefully projected diarrhea around the room on pretty much every surface. He then confiscated all of our phones and wouldn't give them back because he thought we secretly recorded it. Edit. Grammar mistake bothered me. Also, this person now has his own medical practice. Insanely brilliant and wildly eccentric but I guess those two often go hand in hand. House party back in the 90s. Local punk band playing hard in the living room. There was a strobe light lighting the band pit. This will be important later. A friend of mine was passed out on the floor propped up against a wall. Just sitting there, totally out of it. My brother snuck up on him and started moving his lower lip like he was singing along. Jostling him around upset him, and he projectile vomited. Into the pit. With a strobe light lighting the scene. You could watch his puke fly through the air blink 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 splash 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 like a scene from a horror movie. At a house party with my boyfriend and a bunch of co-workers. It was late, like 3am and everyone was pretty wasted. Most of us were playing beer pong in the garage. I had to go pee so I went inside. I opened the bathroom door and the owner of the company's granddaughter was naked on her knees in the shower while two guys were pissing on her. Her boyfriend was in the garage and one of the guys lived there. His pregnant wife was asleep upstairs. I turned around and went back to the garage. A minute later one of the guys came out into the garage laughing about how Trina wanted them to piss on her so they did. I felt so bad for her boyfriend. He was mortified. A girl none of us knew appeared inside the house, began hiding beers in the fridge around the apartment, started numerous arguments with the host and their friends, then proudly declared she has lesions on her brain and surgery tomorrow, and that we were all assholes. We told her she needed to go and she took two more beers, flipped us off and stole the lit cigarette from a girl on the back porch as she stumbled off into the night. A dude having violent diarrhea in a sonic 44 ounces styrofoam cup. This was in the backyard of a friend's house with perhaps 100 people at the party. He was squatted over the cup holding his balls up with one hand and holding the cup with his other and shitting asterisk his brains out. It was more than 44 ounces and he missed the majority of it. Took about 15 seconds from dropping pants to asterisk pulling them up, doing his belt and walking through the side gate to the front yard asterisk it was amazing and horrifying. One of the effects of alcohol poisoning is that it can cause your brain to lose consistent control over your muscles, including the sphincters. When you combine this with the fact that many bodies' reactions to dangerous levels of alcohol is either puking or diarrhea, this is why you see so many stories of excessively drunk people shitting themselves or having extremely aggressive and sudden attacks of diarrhea. Chicken of the walk-in closet making herself available to any person that walked in. Wasn't hired, wasn't paid, just liked to do it. Some drunk guys opening up cans of cream of mushroom soup and using them as chasers. I was somebody's weird moment. At a house party back in the early 90s, ended up getting really baked in the basement with by roommate and this musician dude, who was like twice our age. We're having a good time, and the dude mentions how bad he has the munchies. He says the best chips for when he has the munchies are this specific brand of kettle cooked chips. I'd kill for some right now. So I pull a bag of them out of a coat pocket. Pretty awesome, right? Little while later he says how much he likes chocolate when stoned, especially this specific mint chocolate one, and how hard they are to find. I smile, and pull one out of my pocket. By the end of the night, I had done it four times, pulling specific snacks out of different pockets. Plus, I was so stoned I was in silent bob mode dude was like, I don't know if that was awesome, or scary. I once experienced a pepper party. Literally stoned people throwing black pepper around on the kitchen floor and sneezing with great exuberance. 
I have many, many questions. Some asshole brought an acoustic guitar and insisted on playing Wonderwall for everyone. Back in high school there was this one girl who was an absolute unit and not very hygienic to boot. She showed up at one party but kinda vanished halfway through and no one even noticed. Later that night I had to get something from the host's room and when I opened the door, I was greeted by the sight, smell, and sound of some dude just railing this girl from behind. And the guy was this skinny little dweeb. You seen that pic of Mogwai from Jungle Book with the elephant? There's your visual. She making a sound not unlike a bear trying to shit a pinecone. But the smell. Oh sweet Jesus the smell. A mix of old tuna, open ass, and unwashed balls. I literally vomited on the spot. They noticed and just kept going. I yelled at them to get the fuck of my friend's room and once they left, I ran down and grabbed my friend to let him know what happened. He went upstairs, a cry of disgust confirmed he entered the room, and he immediately came down and kicked everyone out. It took days for the smell to clear. My boy had to sleep on the couch during that time. Edit. My friend sadly passed a few years back but I'm sure he'd love the response to the tale of the desecration of his room. I don't think he touched tuna until the day he died. Mid-1980s. I was at a party where cocaine was piled up on saucers and you helped yourself with little spoons. Little spoons you used to get at McDonald's. Probably about 15 years ago, I saw this guy, absolutely plastered, get dared to walk on glowing charcoal from the fire pit, then proceed to walk into asterisk the fire pit rather than on top of the two bits that the other guy had taken out for this purpose. He luckily was wearing shorts and the fire had begun dying down so he didn't catch on fire, but he suffered some serious burns. Crazy thing is he was smiling the entire time like, lol aren't I crazy. I saw a guy throw up, and a whole bean came out of his nose. IDK if this is weird but kinda funny, was at a high school party and I saw some guys in a circle passing a pipe. I'm thinking stoner circle so I roll one up real quick to join in. Showed them and they're like let's clear the bowl. They hand it to me and it looks weird and nothing is green. I'm like, what is this? One guy goes, meth. I say, oh while are doing real drugs, I'm not about that so I'm just gonna light up the J. Pretty cool dudes in all honesty but I wasn't down for that circle. The weirdest was a party I was at in high school. The host, brother and sister twins, started doing lines of coke with their mom that had been hiding in her bedroom the whole time. That's when I knew it was time to leave. Saw a guy, swim, naked across a countertop to eat a bar of soap. He was very high. Does a foam party count? Definitely saw people straight up fucking on the dance floor. Right after college, we got a big group of our friends to go on a ski trip. There were about 25 of us, and we all stayed in a big log cabin. One night after skiing, as we were all partying, we started to notice something dripping from the ceiling. We go upstairs and find one of our friend's boyfriends passed out in the middle of the floor with a huge pile of vomit near his head. Since it was a log cabin and the floorboards weren't completely flush with each other, the vomit was seeping through and dripping down into the kitchen. Ugh. Years ago a casual acquaintance shows up to a party, an immigrant with limited English ability. He got drunk like the rest of us and crashed on the couch. The next morning he vomited all over the couch. Just gurgled it up all over the place. I helped clean it up and we sent him on his way, but the thing I can't get out of my mind was how weird that vomit was. It was pitch black, gooey, and smelled odd. It freaked me out but I just assumed it must have been something to do with the kind of food he ate. He seemed fine, albeit hungover, but thinking about it now really makes me worry if he was really okay. Like could he have been suffering some kind of internal bleeding without any means to be checked out? This isn't disgusting, but definitely weird and hilarious. I was at a Halloween party with my friend, a few years ago. This part isn't the story, but was just a fun part of the night I was dressed as Jesus, and at the beginning of the party I found someone dressed as a priest. He came up to me and handed me his Bible, and told me to read a verse out of it. So I opened it up and it had a flask in it. Him and I were best friends all night. Now the actual story there was some guy dressed up as a mime, and I never saw him say a word all night. Dude was dedicated. 
my buddy and I were drinking from a handle of Jack Daniels all night, and near the end of the night we were on the dance floor with about one third of the handle left. The mime walks up to us, points at the Jack, points at his mouth, and makes the, please, hand gesture. So we hand it to him and this champion points it to the sky and drinks a third of a handle of whiskey. We couldn't even be mad. He never spoke a word, and took it like a champion. Five minutes later, he was outside puking his brains out. Still never said a word. To this day, I still respect his dedication. Saw a really drunk guy eat a full ashtray like a bowl of cereal. Watched a guy eat an entire party sub one time. A friend randomly shared with me one day the time we're at a house party. A party goer disappeared for a while, only to stumble back into the main room going balls deep in a pumpkin. Jungle juice in a dirty bathtub. I got invited to this ratchet rave six to seven years ago in Paris. It was early in the morning and I am peeing in the urinal. I am struggling to pee and the guy next to me tries to look at my junk and says, you too? I hate when it happens. I burst out laughing and some random guy in his late thirties is walking like a penguin with his pants around his ankles smelling like shit. It was awful. He was rambling about something and jumped butt first into the sink. He started cleaning himself and spraying water everywhere. Just disgusting. I left literally three minutes later. Never went back. <laughs>